Speaking at Orange Democratic Movement Headquarters Chungwa House, opposition leader Raila Odinga maintained that the road to making changes to the Kenyan constitution is still on the right trail. The railway went on half time. Uh, the, the players have been getting some kind of massage and instructions from the, the coaches. Uh, and we have been doing overhaul. <laughs> So shortly the reggae is going to be back and nobody can stop reggae. Raila says Kenya has the financial capability to hold a referendum as this exercise will not cost more than 2 billion shillings. The exercise, the opposition leader says, should happen before the next general election. And to do a presidential repeat when you know new ballot papers were printed, another 10 billion shillings. It's basically stealing. A referendum does not need to cost more than 2 billion Kenyan shillings. So you should not be told, oh, we have no money. There's no money to do it. No, there's money to do it. And we can teach Mr. Chebukati if he's going to be able to do it, how to do it. We are going to show them how to do it. His sentiments seemingly contrasting those of Interim Independent and Boundaries Commission IEBC, which had earlier indicated that should a referendum be held, 12 billion shillings would be required to fund the exercise. It is not the desire of anybody to make it any more difficult, more costly than, than it is. We've told, oh, there's no money for a referendum. It's too expensive. So people are talking about billions which have been spent on the BBI. Ask them, where did those billions come from? There were no billions. Oh, referendum costs billions. A referendum does not have to cost billions. Raila Odinga, who was speaking during the swearing-in ceremony of the new ODM elections board, defended his party from accusation that it has been leaning towards the government, thus abandoning its opposition role. Parliament as an institution... Is supposed to oversight the executive. So it is not only the responsibility of the minority party to oversight. Even the majority parties is part and parcel of that uh, process of oversighting. That's the role of the government. So we made a scheme that, oh, the opposition is weak, the opposition is weak. No. In Parliament, our members of Parliament are playing their role of oversight. All of them. And even those who are in, in the, uh, the majority party are also playing their role. That's why you've got committees in the House who have been tasked to oversight various portfolios. The new board will be headed by Catherine Mwema, who takes over from Judy Pereno. Martin Opio, K24.